let's get started with the explanation. First, let's try to understand the central idea or theme of the story written by Isaac Asimov. The story revolves around education, the future of education. More specifically, the story deals with the future of education which will become increasingly computerized. That means education will take place via some computer softwares and that will be estranged from social interactions that means totally cut off from the society there will be no social interactions the author's message is one of warning against the dangers of computerized homeschooling and what is that it will deprive children of the benefits of the personal interactions between students and teachers that means there will be no social life of the children and social skills enhance when children talk to their friends, when they interact with their teachers. If there are no schools, if there is just virtual classroom, what is virtual classroom? Where learning is through some computer software only. So, if there are no normal schools, then there will be no social development. In this story, the fun they had, we have some characters. First of all, they are... First is Maggie. She is an 11-year-old girl who doesn't like school. Tommy is a 13-year-old boy. Mrs. Jones is Maggie's mother. And then we have mechanical teacher. He teaches Maggie and Tommy. He teaches them different subjects. And he works on the television screen. Last but not the least, there is mechanical engineer who comes to fix Maggie's teacher. Let's start the chapter, the fun they had. Before you read, the story we shall read is set in the future, when books and schools as we now know them will perhaps not exist, that means they will not be there. How will children study then? The diagram below may give you some ideas. Let's understand this diagram. Schools of the future, there will be robotic teachers, and learning will take place only through some computer softwares. There will be virtual classroom. Virtual classroom is not uh, your real classroom. Okay. And in virtual classroom, learning takes place only through some gadgets. And there is no face-to-face -face interaction between the students and the teachers. And then we have moving e-text. So, next we have in pairs discuss three things that you like most about your school. Now, this is for you. Okay. And three things about your school that you would like to change. Write them down so you can do this homework. Then, have you ever read words on a television or computer screen? Can you imagine a time when all books will be on computers and there will be no books printed on paper? Would you like such books better? Now, just take an example. The way you are reading now will only continue throughout your schooling and you do not get to meet your friends and teachers. What would be then? What would be life like at the time? You don't get to meet your friends, your teachers, your school is there at your home itself and you study all alone. There is no fun at all. So let's see what we have in the story. What is Margie doing? What is Tommy doing here. First paragraph. Margie even wrote about it that night in her diary. So that means the chapter is written in the form of a diary entry. So Margie is the first character introduced to us. On the page headed 17 May 2157. As we know the story is set in future 2157 and now we are in the year 2020. Headed means the date was written at the top. And what did she write? She wrote, Today, Tommy found a real book. What do you mean by a real book? That means, were they not aware what a book is? Let's read further and find it out. It was a very old book. Which book? Which Tommy had found. Margie's grandfather once said that. Who, who said? Margie's grandfather that when he was a little boy, his grandfather told him that there was a time when all stories were printed on paper. Now, Margie's grandfather told that 
His grandfather told him that there was a time when all stories were printed on paper. That means generations ago, years and years ago, ages and ages ago, there were printed books. They turned the pages of the book which Tommy had found, which were yellow because the book was quite old and crinkly. Crinkly means with folds or lines on them. And it was awfully funny to read words. Awfully means it was quite straight for them. And quite funny for them to read words which were stable, which were not moving on the screen as they were used to. And it was awfully funny to read words that stood still, still means stable, instead of moving the way they were supposed to on a screen. That means for Maggie and Tommy, text words were already moving on their screen. This is how they used to study, you know. And then when they turn back to the page before, that means when they turn the previous page, they found the words again there. It had the same words on it that it had had when they read it the first time. So what was funny for Margie and Tommy that words were stable when they turned the previous page. They were not moving like the words moved for them on their computer screen. Now, let's meet in the next module for further